in the world of AI tools kind of just taking over. I mean, we went from iRobot and being scared of AI to now fully embracing it. Let's go ahead and tap into some AI tools to help make your podcast workflow 10 times easier. Hey guys, my name is Anna Gogo and I'm the founder and creative director here at Adobe Media. And this week, I really want to talk about like how we really need to start embracing AI a little bit more. I know some people who are super against it, but I want to kind of give you some few AI tools to help you with your podcast workflow, whether you are an independent creator or production house looking for ways to streamline things. So first and foremost um, is Cast Magic. And Cast Magic is a... Whew, it's a game changer. And so Cast Magic, the whole premise of it is that you are able to upload your audio or video file, and it will basically create various written content for you. This looks like your podcast show notes. If you want to repurpose your podcast into a blog post, if you want to utilize the information and put it into a carousel post in threads, if you want to have Instagram captions for your reel, you see how I'm just going and going, but there's more. I feel like an infomercial now, but but wait, there's more. You can also utilize it for YouTube captions and so much more. The thing about Cast Magic is it pretty much creates all your written content for your podcast. All it needs is the content and it can summarize it for you. It's really a game changer because a lot of people really need to start putting more effort into their show notes. With Google and all the work that YouTube is doing, as well as Apple and everything else in between, SEO and keywords that are placed in your show notes really does help help really does help with discoverability. And so hopefully Cast Magic game changer. Next up is Riverside. Now, the thing about Riverside, it's a remote recording tool. However, Riverside within the tool itself has some video elements, it transcribes the um, podcast, and it does so much more. And so with that in mind, if you are recording remotely, whether at home, in a studio, you're able to record that content, it saves into the cloud in Riverside, and then you can actually utilize AI to cut segments of the podcast into to reels. So it records your audio and your video. It gives you a raw form. It also scrubs it for you. So there's just different options of things that you can do with Riverside. Next up is Descript. Now, whew, Descript is one of those things that when I first heard about it, I was like, this is scary. And this was before ChatGPT really was blowing up and we we're hearing so much about it. But I absolutely love this tool. So the thing about Descript is it has some really key components. One is you upload your audio file and it will transcribe it for you. From that transcribed audio file, you then have the ability to, instead of editing the audio, meaning knowing how to edit in Audition um, or in even GarageBand, you may not have to do that. You can actually edit your audio as if you're editing a Word document. So if you remove something from the Word document, it removes from the audio. The other piece to that is that it has an AI component that allows for it to remove filler words. So if you say, um, you know, and maybe, um, and you start just kind of rambling all over the place, Descript can be a lifesaver because it can remove filler words. It can also remove long pauses. So if you take a pause for five seconds, you can tell Descript anything longer than two seconds cut out of this. And it'll take that out and give you an opportunity to listen to it. Another piece to that is this component called Overdub that in my days where I used to still edit, which thankfully I don't anymore, in the days where I used to still edit, I used to utilize Overdub like it was nobody's business. So let's talk about what that is. In Descript, if at any point, let's say I said somebody's name was Michael, but in actuality, his name was Jackson. If I said Jackson at another point in the conversation, Descript will literally allow for me to utilize a function called overdub that takes my voice from that portion where I said the name correctly and puts it over where I said it incorrectly. And so this is really great from a audio perspective because it just helps with the whole cleanup process versus having to, you know, put in a retraction or cut it out altogether. Next up is text to word. So 
Now this is the one that I have not used personally, but I had heard a lot about it. And that's where you can type a text and it can turn it into your voice. Now, I don't know how great it sounds and maybe one day I might even do a little Descript tutorial so you guys can hear it for yourself. But in essence, it kind of takes away. Like if your voice, maybe you've lost your voice. I don't know what use case you can use this for, but you have the opportunity to type out what you want to say and Descript basically puts it in your own voice. Not a computer voice, not an AI voice, but your own. It's a little scary though. And I know they have things in there that they indicate that you have to have the person's permission, but who really knows what's being utilized? Last or next up, should I say, is Adobe Podcast. Now, I think this is quite cool. Have you ever, and let me kind of start off with the use case before I tell you what it is. Have you ever run into a situation where you forget to hit record on your microphone and you just get camera audio? It's happened. With that in mind, with auto po uh, Adobe Podcast, so sorry, clearly I'm trying to work my way ahead to the next item. With Adobe Podcast, it enhances the audio to almost give you studio-like quality. So let's say you're utilizing camera and you forget to hit record on your microphone. It will help enhance your camera audio to the point that it sounds crisp, pristine, and almost like you're in a studio. Um, it will always kind of take it one step further. I've even seen use cases where somebody was vacuuming right next to them and you didn't even hear it at all. Last but definitely not least is Autopod, which is a plugin for Premiere. Now, this is if you have a video component to your podcast, and it basically allows for multiple camera cuts, and it does it on an automated basis, and I think it does as a face tracking based off of who's talking. So if you have multiple people, it's going to cut to their camera based off of whose facial movement and who's speaking. This helps cut down on time, especially if you don't have an audio or videographer who's physically doing camera cuts live when you're recording. So let's do a quick recap of some of these AI tools that you can utilize to help streamline your podcast process. Item number one was Cast Magic, which is great for all written content, from blog posts to LinkedIn articles and so much more. Item number two was Riverside, which is a remote recording tool that allows for you to record with anybody anywhere, but it also has components that cuts those video elements for reels to be repurposed. Item number three was Descript. And as you've heard, Descript is the AI beast because it has everything from text to speech, removal of filler words, and so much more. A next up for item number four was Adobe Podcast, which is audio enhancement. So if you forget to hook up your microphone or you just realize that there was a lot going on in the background and you want to kind of clean that up. And last but definitely not least is item number five, which is Autopod, which is a multi-cam edit, which allows for you to basically, with one click of a button, go from camera to camera. Now, I do think that one might be a little difficult if it's just yourself speaking, but I'm sure there's ways you can work around it. So I hope you found this information helpful, and I would love to hear in the comments below what AI tools are you utilizing for your podcast or content creation process? Here at Adobe Media, we love working with brands of all sizes to help you with your podcast creation. So if you need any support, feel free to reach out to us at adonemedia.com. Until next time, have a good one.